Hey guys, welcome to my channel! This is a Twin Flames reading for the week of November 14th. Messages from Divine Feminine. Hello out there in YouTube land. How you doing today, guys? Hope you're doing all right. I'm doing super fly, super fly. We're going to get a reading on the Divine Feminine energy for the week coming up here. In case you missed it, I was here Friday doing the collective energy, Twin Flames Collective. What's going on between Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine collectively? And yesterday, in case you missed it, was the Divine Masculine reading. So Divine Masculine specifically, and today we do Divine Feminine specifically. So if you're new here, welcome. I am Kurt. My twin flame, of course, is permanently in my life. And I've coached a whole lot of people. I've helped a lot of people with their twin flame journey, guys. And I'd love to help you too. We can start right now. Let's talk about Divine Feminine versus Divine Masculine. Let's talk about that today. I like to talk about that. So, everybody's talking about their Divine Masculine is running. I'm Divine Feminine. I got to get Divine Masculine to be with me. What am I going to do about Divine Masculine? I'm Divine Feminine, etc., etc. And I don't know, guys. I'm what you call Divine Feminine, right? I was in your position. I, I was trying to figure out what to do about my Twin Flame to get them to stop running. My Twin Flame running away right? So that's supposed to be divine masculine. But here's the problem. My twin flame is a woman. <laughs> and I'm definitely not very feminine. You know, and everybody says, oh yeah, I know, but you've got a feminine and masculine side. Well, yes and no. It's not really based on gender. That's what I'm, that's where I'm going with this, right? So the gender labels aren't bad. And there's energy inside of you, inside of each one of us, which people have labeled feminine and masculine. But is it really gender? Is that really what that energy is based on? No. It's duality. Now, it's not bad to call it feminine or masculine. No problem. You call it feminine, masculine, plus, minus, yin, yang, I am, and emotion, right? Those are just words. But the words are important because they're trying to point you at an underlying concept. And that's exactly what I'd like to discuss with you today. What is that underlying concept? Well, it's called duality. And I just named a few different types of duality. So you got DMDF. Okay. Yin, yang, past, future, plus, minus, good, bad. I like it. I don't like it. So on, so on. Right? Right? Now, what does this have to do with your twin flame? Well, gosh, it has everything to do with your twin flame. You and your twin flame are the same soul. That is true. But what about at the level of the mind? What about it? Remember, you are body, mind, soul, right? Okay, so at the level of the mind with your twin flame, you are polarized exactly like yin and yang, like the opposites, like duality. It is the soul where you are completely uniform. So, one energy of that yin-yang duality with your twin flame, that plus minus, DMDF, whatever you want to call it, one energy is a positive energy, so to speak, in that it is always pushing, it's always trying to move outward, expand, right? The other type of energy, which we call negative, and again, it's just a label. I don't mean to use the word negative in the negative sense, <laughs> right? Like it's like it's bad, right? And that's not what I, what, I, what I mean by that. It's not what we're talking about. What I'm talking about is pull energy, withdrawing, right? So that's really positive, negative. So you are pushing onto this person energetically when you approach this through the mind or the ego personality. 
the obsessive thinking, the emotions that you're going through, those types of things. And the harder you push, the harder they pull away. And so everybody in the Twin Flame community is trying to approach this journey through the mind. And that's why your Twin Flame keeps running. And what I'm telling you is to approach this journey through the soul, which is who you really are, which is not polarized. It's not duality at all. It's totally, totally uniform. All right, guys, at the bottom of the deck, Divine Feminine, we got the Five of Wands. So, petulant bickering or a deeper lesson, a deeper teaching. I believe it's a deeper teaching and a deeper lesson. That's always what it is in these Divine Feminine readings because you are the conscious twin. And I also can tell by the other cards that came out. This is going to be about rising above conflict, uh, trying to be better than other people. Um, you know, like looking good in front of everybody. Like we're, we're kind of like moving away from that. Like that's ego. I don't care about that. And of course, towards your divine masculine, you might even start to look at the interactions that you had with your divine masculine a lot differently than you have in the past. And energetically, of course, your twin flame, they assist you in that. So recent past towards your 3D situation, so-called karmic situation, divine feminine, we've got the shadow side, which is equivalent to the devil, next to the emperor in reverse. So just kind of a lot of unwieldy energy of attachment. This is exactly what your twin flame is trying to show you. This is exactly what they're trying to teach you. Okay, this is... This is Kind of what I explained during the intro of this video, that it is the ego, the personality that attaches itself to things. You don't need anything, okay? And when you release need for things, that's when you can have things, right? So think of like the law of attraction, for example. You keep telling the universe, I need this, I need that. The universe gives you the experience of needing so need nothing and you can have everything. And remember, it's not really you who gets attached to things or people or situations or whatever it is. It's the ego. It's the mind, the personality, right? Body, mind, soul. You're not your mind. You're not the ego. You're not the personality. So that's just saying this is kind of where you started. Your ego tripping out. Your ego blowing up on everything in your life situation and it's subconscious you don't even realize you're doing it now lots of quick changes we've got the eight of wands right so the eight of wands indicates that you felt this quickening like something really big is about to happen in my life you went through that dark night of the soul experience lots of blow-ups lots of up and downs but you know that there's something deeper going on here. You know that this journey is not necessarily just about the person, although they do certainly catalyze and kickstart the changes that you're going through, don't they? Speaking of which, towards Divine Masculine specifically, the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Right, so this rushing in, I got to do something about it. I need to take action. And the universe is sitting there ticking by, moving along, humming along, and it's kind of looking at you going, okay, you don't really need to do that. You just need to let me do my thing, right? That's the thing about surrender that people don't really understand. You gotta start with being, guys. Everybody else starts with doing, right? I gotta do such and such thing, like chase my twin flame, and then I'll have my twin flame, and then I'll be happy, fulfilled, whatever. What I'm telling you is you need to start with being first and then you attract doing to you. Let the universe do its job, Divine Feminine. That's kind of the big lesson, so to speak. It's really a remembering, but that's what you're learning in this cycle is that the universe will actually assist you in bringing your twin flame to you. And to the mind, that sounds crazy. And, 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 and I guess when you're experiencing it, it does seem like crazy town because it's kind of magical. All the synchronicities, how everything lines up to bring you and your twin flame back together. But you're just focused on surrender, on being. What is that? That's the soul. That's your consciousness. That's where you and your twin flame are completely uniform. Which means that what I'm talking about is really just the true spiritual journey. 
right? This is traditional Zen spiritualism, no different than the Buddha or the Tao or Jesus or any, any of those types of thousands of years old ancient spiritual teachings, deep spiritual teachings that point to consciousness as the true self, not the ego. That's what this journey is really all about, guys. And that's exactly why the Seven of Swords is coming out. The ego is showing itself to you, and you're well aware that that is going on. Guys, this is exactly why I've been able to help so many people. This is why my twin flame is permanently in my life. I've coached over 4,000 people. Guys, you're not your mind. You're not the ego. You are your twin flame. You are the same soul. You just have to release the ego and align with your soul, right? You don't need to do the healing and the clearing karma and fixing your childhood wounds and clearing past lives with your twin flame and sending healing energy to them. As a matter of fact, if you do those things, that's the ego, that's the mind trying to figure out what to do. You're focusing on this other person. That's what pushes them away because you're approaching this through the duality of the mind. You push, they pull. The harder you push, the harder they pull. It's that simple, guys. Divine Feminine, okay, so current energy towards your so-called karmic situation, 3D situation, the Four of Swords, and Temperance. Yeah, right, exactly. So you're like, everything that I'm saying to you, okay, about what this journey is really all about is starting to make sense to you. You know this on a deeper level. You can't think your way there, guys. This is what I tell my students, over 4,000 students. Guys, this is not a journey of the mind. This is a journey of the soul, it's consciousness, it's beingness. There's that word again, being. It's coming from a place of pure existence, which is within you. It's deeper than thought. Okay, that's why this Four of Swords comes out next to the Temperance card, because it's an unfoldment. Okay, the Seven of Swords is indicating that your ego personality is trying to get the best of you this week, and you're going to be well aware that that is going on. You are not your mind, guys. Like I tell you guys, read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Go watch my free coaching videos all over my YouTube channel. You don't even have to give me a penny. Fuck these tarot readings, man. These tarot readings, they don't really help you. I help you. I do. Go watch my free coaching videos, guys. I'm the number one twin flame coach in the whole world. I'm going to tell you something different than what all the other tarot readers and twin flame coaches are telling you. And I'm not saying that to brag. It's just, that's all you see on the internet. It's the same thing over and over and over again. Healing, healing, childhood wounds, healing, childhood wounds, healing, childhood wounds. Karma, you know, you got to wait for divine masculine to awaken. Fuck all that. You don't need to do any of that stuff, guys. And no, you don't need to wait for divine masculine. You go within. Get out of your ego. Again, this is traditional Zen spiritualism. That's all this is, guys. This is your soul's journey. You and your twin flame are the same soul. You just got to treat it that way, guys. And Divine Feminine, the moon next to the Five of Swords. Right, so again, this petulant energy rearing its ugly head. Five of Wands came out at the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords, this kind of ego-based drama. Your ego, your personality, your mind, it wants conflict with Divine Masculine. And you're sitting here going, fuck it, I'm just going to release. I'm going to surrender and let the universe do its job. That's why the moon comes out. I'm just going to be that mystical, trusting, intuitive soul that I know I am at my core. I'm not my mind. I'm not my ego. And guys, that's when your twin flame shows up. That's when they unblock you and they start chasing you. And they want to talk to you suddenly. They're no longer being distant, keeping you at an arm's length. It happened to me. It happens to all my students. Guys, you can go watch my free coaching videos or you can sign up for my paid coaching. It's not expensive. I don't charge thousands of dollars. It's only a few hundred bucks. And right now, if you pay in full, you can save $50 versus my payment plans. Although the payment plans are very affordable. I mean, gosh, three, 400 bucks when you pay in full, that's already not that much money. But if you sign up for the payment plans, it's even more affordable still. You can get started today for 60 or 70 bucks and you get full access to the videos, the coaching calls, all the tools, resources, everything with your down payment of 60 or $70. Guys, get the gold package and you'll get two months of the group coaching calls included with your original purchase. You can talk directly to me. You can talk to my two professional coaches assisting me. 
The instructional videos are eight and a half hours long. I will give you action steps you can implement right now to shut down the obsessive thinking, go on to live your best, most amazing life. And yes, of course, even get your twin flame to start talking to you again and stop acting like such a weirdo. And it's not expensive, guys. Go sign up today, pay in full, save 50 bucks at the checkout when you pay in full and change your life, guys. You can go read testimonials all over my website, my YouTube channel. There's lots and lots of success stories videos that you can check out on my website, on my YouTube channel, rather. Although I've got a pretty, pretty darn far out testimonial section on my website, over 100 testimonials. And we're always collecting new ones, all kinds of people who are in union with their twin flame. It's not hard, guys. What you're doing is hard. Obsessively watching video after video on YouTube, trying to figure out what to do about this person. And I'm over here going, it's all within you. <laughs> you are your twin flame, guys. It's that simple. Sign up for my coaching. Talk to us. We will help you get all the way to the end and beyond. That's my goal. If I can't make a master out of you, if you're not at, le at least as good as I am or better by the time you leave my coaching system, I haven't done my job and I'm absolutely serious about that. If I don't make a master out of you, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. All right, Divine Feminine, what does the beautiful, sexy, divine Danielle Oracle deck have for Divine Feminine this week? What do you got, Danielle? Breadcrumbs of bliss, exactly. Heed your pleasure principle. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't take much, guys. The ego be tripping. The ego be tripping this week. But you've got what it takes to balance right out of it. Okay, so that's card number 11. Oh, we like that number. <laughs> card number 11, breadcrumbs of bliss. Message, it is no accident that you are on this planet at this time, in this place, with these people. It's no accident you've been endowed with unique gifts. Your gifts and talents are within you for a purpose. It's not your job to know how your life is meant to unfold. It is only your job to be attuned to the bliss that moves you, guides you, and underlies your every interaction, moment by moment. When you honor your dreams, your inner guidance, and the promptings of your soul, you are rewarded every step of the way with a resurgence of soul juice, a.k.a. bliss. This is not a temporary high that leaves you crashed and burned out. The breadcrumbs of bliss will lead you to the best place to be in divine right order. Bam! Exactly. Divine feminine, that is exactly what the fuck I'm talking about, right? You've got to let the universe do its job, guys. That's why that Wheel of Fortune card came out in the reverse up there, okay? The ego is what tells you it needs to control and it needs to take all these actions and it needs to send that text message to your twin and it needs to see what they're up to, checking their social media 50, 100 times a day, literally. And I was there too, I did the same thing. <laughs> but you don't need to do that. You just go within and let the universe do the work, guys. It's simple. You can live in harmony, you can live in peace, breadcrumbs of bliss, right? It's all within you, guys. Most likely outcome, Divine Feminine. That's so beautiful. Look at that. The Queen of Pentacles. So this is going to be all about self-care, all about remembering who you are, being in your power as a nurturing presence of the self, the true self, not the ego, not the personality. Toward your karmic situation, Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords in reverse. Right. So look out for innocent truth bombs that may surprise you. Look out for those signs and synchronicities, guys. It's perfectly normal. It's perfectly natural functioning part of the universe. The mind doesn't understand the quantum physics of non-duality behind synchronicities, okay? But you do, you at your core, the knower, the beer, the true self. The mind is gonna call those things magic, but it's not magic. Magic is just science undiscovered. You and your twin flame are the same source consciousness. It's energy, guys. <laughs> That's all it is, guys. It's this technology. It's not magic. It's technology. Okay, and speaking of which, towards Divine Masculine in particular, the High Priestess and the Three of Wands, most likely outcome exactly. Let the good times roll. Let the synchronicities come in. Let the magic roll off your tongue and off your feet all around you, Divine Feminine.
beautiful reading. Oh my goodness, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give me a like. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe, because if you don't hit the bell button when you subscribe, you will not get notifications whenever I post one of my amazing, awesome card readings and coaching videos. I'll see you tomorrow for another coaching video. Have a great Sunday. Bye.